Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Mukesh English. In this video, we are going to discuss a famous story by R.K. Narayan, The X. The X story has been taken from his famous collection of stories titled Malgudi Days. Let's know about the author, R.K. Narayan. His full name was Rashi Pram Krishna Swami Ayer Narayan Swami. He was born on 10th October 1906 and passed away on 13th May 2001. He was an Indian writer who was known for his work set in the fictional South Indian town of Malgudi. He was a leading author of early Indian literature in English along with Mulkaraj Anand and Raja Rao. The fictional town of Malgudi was first in introduced in Swami and Friends his famous work. Mr. Narayan highlights the social context and everyday life of his characters. His famous works are Swami and Friends, The Bachelor of Arts, The English Teacher and The Guide. His novels titled The Financial Expert and The Guide have been made into popular films. He was also the recipient of the Padma Bhushan and the Padma Vibhushan. Now let's know about the story. The story, The X, has been taken from his famous collection of stories, Malgudi Days. The X is a compelling story about a person called Villain seeking his life's purpose and place. It explores the themes of pride, commitment, control, and acceptance. Villain's father was a poor man. So nobody could have imagined that Velen would one day reside in a three-story building. However, the astrologer's prediction came true. He became the sole owner of Kumar Bagh, a palatial town on the outskirts of, of Malgudi. When Velen was 18 years old, he left home. One day, his father slapped him for being late with lunch. Velen was so enraged so uh, so angry he was so angry by this that he decided to leave his home he left the village and continued walking until he reached the city here he went without food for many days finally he arrived in malgudi here an elderly man hired him his gardener's assistant well and accepted the position and he sat in the sun day after day to clear the land of unwanted vegetation. The gardener gradually, the garden gradually took shape. As the house rose, so too did the garden. By the time the Margosa tree appeared in Velen's vision, the house had taken on a Milo appearance. Its original brilliance had, had vanished. So now the house as well as the garden, both have taken a new picture. Wellen was satisfied and content with his job as, a, as the assistant of the gardener. In the interim, the original gardener who had hired him had passed away. Now, Wellen is the only head gardener. He was married. He had, a children, he had the children. In the servants' quarters, he used to stay there. In the interim, the home's owner grew older. The master eventually died. Now the owner of the house also died. Now some of the old men were of the poor character. They remained for an additional year. The left out were stay there for a few years. And they also fought among themselves. Then they moved to a new residence in the new house. Now, this house where the gardener, the Wellen, used to stay here, this house was, for, was given for rent. It was rented. It was given for rent. After a year, second tenant arrived, followed by a third one, and so on. So nobody stayed there for long, for many months. Not more than few months. So the house then gained a reputation for being haunted. So day by day, the house was getting the reputation as the haunted house because no tenant was staying there, staying there for long duration. 
now over the time the house owner stopped visiting the property now velen became the house sole occupant he was aging well he was also getting older day by day despite his efforts grass grew on the paths and the weeds and the vines sprouted and the owners leased out the fruit garden for 3 years the owners of the house they are given they are given the the garden for a lease for 3 years countless years passed with no change it became known as a ghost house and people began to avoid it however velen never complained about anything once every 3 months he sent his son to the old family to collect his wages velen desired that his this situation will change however one day a car approached the house the old house's doors and and windows were thrown open the individuals in the car belonged to a company that wished to acquire this home they informed velen that they would be cutting down the plants so they would no longer require velen's services there was a great deal of activity in an uh, in an around the residence soon a cutter arrived to clean the area velen was upset that they also planned to cut down the margosa tree velen regarded this margosa tree as his own offspring therefore he chose to leave the house he thought that it's better to leave the house he requested that he requested the cutter to wait until he was beyond the sound of their axes before proceeding he gathered his belongings and he left the residence he requested the cutter that the margosa tree should not be cut down until he was far away from the home so this is how the story ends here and in this story we find few important themes and the themes are independence and pride prosperity and loss change and acceptance so we have seen here that the story has been taken from arkinaren's famous collection of stories the malgudi days so after velen has been slapped by his father he abandons his father and sets out to find work for himself eventually becoming gardener this may be important as velen is displaying an independent streak he showing his father that he can make it on his own then he does not need to be guided by his father the old man who employs velen is also interesting as he allows velen to have complete control of the garden which would further suggest that velen has a degree of independence in his life though he is answerable to the old man the old man does not get in velen's way he leaves him to his own devices it is also interesting that despite claiming his father's property on his father's death velen does not leave the garden preferring to stay preferring to stay in his hut by the garden this may be important as it is it is as it suggests that it suggests that velen is dedicated to the garden something that is also noticeable by the fact that velen also talks to each plant and flowers urging them on in growth if anything velen's world is dedicated or devoted to the garden it might be a case that arkinaren is comparing velen's father to the old man who comes to the who owns the garden both men treat velen differently where velen's father was treated velen inappropriately the relationship between the old man who owns the garden and velen is good it is possible that arkinaren is suggesting that should a person should treat another person correctly then only the person will prosper which appear to be the case for velen 
since moving to his hut by the garden valen's life has prospered and he is happy in many ways the growth of the garden and the blooming of the flowers matches the prosperity and the happiness in valen's life he has managed to get married and have children something that may not have been possible should be should he have stayed working with his father narain might be also exploiting the theme of loss despite having got married valen has lost his wife and eight of his children all dying before valen however it can also be noticed that despite this loss valen has done very hard work he has not been beaten by the circumstances he again has continued to prosper just as the garden has it might also be a case that arkinarin is comparing valen's father to the old man who owns the garden and both have treated valen differently now what is also interesting about valen is that despite his age he has never given up this along with the fact that he is answerable to a different master may be important as mr narayan may be again highlighting how dedicated valen is regardless of the circumstances he finds himself in it is also obvious the reader that valen takes great pride in the work he has done in the garden he has taken a patch of land and changed what was an ice core into a thing of beauty again through hard work dedication and devotion it is also clear to the reader that valen does not like some of his own masters they have no interest in the house of the in the house or of the garden despite this valen still tries his best to keep the garden as tidy and well preserved as possible in reality the garden is valen's whole world he knows no other life though some critics also suggest that valen has lived a limited life due to his dedication to the garden it is also important to remember that the garden brings joy to valen he is at the happiest when he is in the garden valen has never strived for complexity in his life he is a simple man who likes simple things the end of the story is also interesting as arkin arayan may be exploiting a the theme of control when valen hears the x hitting against the margosa tree he knows that his life is about to change he is no longer in control of his environment for the first time since he was 18 this alone is something that would be difficult for someone to accept but what makes it worse in many ways is the fact that valen had no opportunity to prepare himself for the events that were about to happen nobody had told valen of the new owner's wishes nor the reader expects how anybody told valen that new owners had bought the house and the garden if anything if anything valen is ignorant of what is happening though he does not know the life had the life he had lived working in the garden is over change is difficult for anybody but even more difficult for someone as old as valen even though valen even though valen accepts what is happening the reader senses as though he is leaving the garden as a broken man all the effort he has put in over the years will have been in vain now that the new owners plan on building houses in the garden
in nutshell the story the x gives a vivid picture of a society of a society which is in the process of transition and its impact on the people change is inevitable but it can cause deep sorrow to many people velen belongs to the old order of life and suffers deeply when the house with its beautiful garden is sold to a company which is interested only in material value and wants to use the plot to construct many small houses hence transition from the old order to the new one is not always smooth it can be traumatic as well this is how the story the x ends dear friends thank you so much for watching this video you can reach me at mukesh english at the rate of gmail.com please do subscribe the channel click on the like button for more videos on literature workbook pronunciation grammar communication skills presentation skills interview skills stay in tune with mukesh english thank you once again